Okay, we are here with Cortland head coach Kurt Fitzpatrick, junior quarterback Zach Boys, junior linebacker Jack Whiney. After Cortland's 25-24 win over Grove City in the NCAA second round, coach, start us off with some comments and feelings about today's great, uh, great game. Oh, it was a great game. Um, two very good teams battling out there. Grove City was an outstanding opponent today. Um, you know, I thought. Uh, you know, overall, it was kind of a swings of momentum. We jumped out to a 14 nothing lead, and then they made some plays and cut and, and, and cut the you know cut the lead and tied it at the end of the at the end of the half, first half, and then we just kind of traded drives in the in the second half. Their offense is very good. They held the ball, and we had limited possessions. And you know, it, we knew it was going to be this type of game, uh, kind of a back and forth, very two very evenly matched teams. Um, we just had to stick together and try to find a way, find a way to win. I'm proud, proud of the way our team played today and, and just the way we fought. Um, you know, we turned the ball over and then we forced a fumble on the very first offensive play. Uh, and then, you know, this guy, Zach, made some tremendous plays, fourth down conversions. And, um, you know, we just, we just found a way. You know, we, we've been winning close games lately. I think our team has a lot of belief in one another. And belief that if we stick together, we can we can win the game. Um, and uh, just just proud of the overall effort of our players and coaches. Uh, Kurt, you guys you get lost that game to Susquehanna back in the like the second game of the year. And you guys went through like a streak of blowouts, and then past like three games been or four games maybe four games three four games been very close games, competitive games. Yeah. Uh, you guys barely won last week. You can barely get a win this week. What could you say about the resiliency of this group? You know. Uh, I mean, they're, they're yeah, they're, they're very resilient. We learned a lot from the Susquehanna game, you know. Uh, we, I think we learned it was a humbling experience. We also learned that you don't have to win by three touchdowns to win. Yeah. Um, that's great. You know, we try to play the best we can, and if it's a win with a, with a, by a wide margin, then that's great. But we just have to win, you know. Um, winning close is better than losing close. So, you know, I think we, we learned a lot about, about ourselves, about how we have to play down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Um, and we made plays in the fourth quarter today to, to win the game. Um, and I think that was, you know, obviously huge. But I don't, if we had pulled out the Susquehanna game, I don't know if we would have been where we are right now. You know, everything happens for a reason. Um, and this is, the, we talk about the journey of Team 118 that we've been on all year. And that Susquehanna loss was part of that journey. And, and now here we are um, playing in December. Uh, so it's a, uh, just a wonderful thing. And you guys got down, get the ball back after that fumble, and you get that fourth down conversion. When you get that, you got to get in like um, their territory. Yeah. Was the plan to go for two the whole time if you guys got the touchdown? Yes. Yeah. I told our defense. Um, Jack may remember this in the huddle after we turned the ball over. I said I told our defense if if you get a stop here, we're going to drive and score. I'm going to go for two. So I called it with eight minutes left in the game or whatever, whatever, whatever that was. Um, I just believe in our players, you know, and if we get down there, you know, Zach and our offensive unit, if we have a chance to win the game with one play, I mean, obviously they had a chance to go down and score, they almost did, but if we have a chance to win the game with one play, then, you know, they had, they, if I kicked the field goal, they would have been down trying to win the game anyway, or kicked the extra point, you know, so I just like to be aggressive. I think our players like that too. I think they appreciate it, um, and uh, they paid off. Zach, you threw that interception, they get the ball right back. What's kind of going through your mind? You know, you get that, you get another chance there to, not, you know, not necessarily win the game, but a chance to maybe potentially tie it, and then you guys end up going for two, win the game. Yeah. What's going through your mind is you get the ball back and you have another chance like that. Go down the score, go right some wrongs, right? Late across the middle is never good. Um, just a really stupid bonehead play um, that I really want back. Um, that's for sure. But you know, our defense they've been they've been answering the call these last these last three weeks, four weeks. You know, we go against them every day in practice, so we know how good they are. I got all my. All my, all the faith in the world in those guys. Um, so you know, I never kind of, I knew that we were going to get the ball back. You know, whether if there was with a minute left or no time left or whatever it could have been. Um, but right when I got the ball back, I was like, all right, we gotta go score it now. And uh, you know, that's what we did. And Jack, you guys forced, I think it was three turnovers. That three turnovers. So. Three, turnovers. three turnovers in that big one was the fumble. Um, what could you say about the group, the defensive group, to just keep them off the board in those certain situations and then get the ball back for a chance to win the game? Yeah, you know, um, we just have a great group of guys that work hard every single day, put 100% effort every time we're on the field, and um, we just make plays when the plays come to us. And that's that's pretty much it. Um, we got a great offense that we can rely on, great coaching staff. So, you know, 
Jack, talk about the second half starts and, the, and, and Grove City starts mounting a long drive and you guys are on the field for a decent amount of time. You're getting some stops, but you're not getting third down stops, but you're, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of extending out the game. But what's happening on the defensive side and just in terms of uh, the mentality and trying to overcome, you know, and trying to get off the field and then eventually making some bigger plays later in the game? We just got to keep pushing forward every play. I mean, we say it all the time. Um, what's the most important play? The next play. So it's always the next play, the next play, and eventually we're going to come out on top. Zach, do you want to walk through the two-point conversion play situation without giving away any company secrets about what might have been called, but what was kind of the thought going into that? You knew going in on that drive that you were going to go for two. So on that play, was that, you know, you kind of had to improvise it looked like. Yeah, yeah, you know, we do a, we do a two-point play every Thursday. That's how we end our, our Thursday practice. And um, so, you know, our offense knows the play, we know the play. And, um, you know, I was, I was very confident in the call. Um, we honestly didn't line up. Correct first. I'm sure he was screaming over there with the back behind me. So we had to kind of figure everything out. And then when we got the look, you know, it wasn't what we wanted. But that's why we run the play because there's so many different options. And um, you know, I just went through my reads, and my best friend Mari just came out of nowhere, man. And uh, you know, I got him the ball, and I I, I put my faith into him. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just you got to make the play. That's, just, that's the game when you play, right? You, you we don't get that play, we, it's hard to go down and win. So you know, any means possible to get get the W. What's it feel like from a redemption standpoint in the sense that a year ago you went down, we lost a tough first round game in the playoffs. Now you've won two tight NCAA games. You get to go to the quarterfinals. Uh, we don't know where yet. Could be because Alma won. So it could be Alma, it could be here. We don't know that. But talk about just what last year, the end of last year, how much has propelled everything that's happened this year. We're a hungry group, man. That, that last year still has a sour taste in my mouth. Um, that team was very, very good. We were very. You know, we were young, and, um, you know, we kind of wanted to, to, to send a message, and we wanted to build this program up, man. We're, we, you know, this is really my junior year, um, and we want to kind of leave this place better than we found it uh, in, as a class. And, um, you know, that that experience last year at Randolph-Macon really kind of fueled us this all, whole offseason to go back and get get uh, get some revenge. And, um, you know, adding guys like Jack, adding guys like Jaden Martinez, Sam Cotton coming in, um, you know, we, we got some really good players now that all kind of fit fit our culture. And uh, like I said said all week, man, we're a really tight-knit group and we all love each other. And we, we don't want to be done with each other yet. So I think it's just more of revenge from last year and kind of just staying with the guys this year, right? Like Thanksgiving was awesome. It was, it was really it was a lot of fun. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to get another week with you guys. Coach, you want to talk about these last couple of weeks um, and just what this team has accomplished so far? And it's... Only the third time now that Cortland will be going to the yeah. national quarterfinals. Um, especially this week, you know, um, being that, you know, classes ended on Tuesday and everyone was, all the students were away for Thanksgiving break. It was just, just us here again on campus, having Thanksgiving, spending Thanksgiving together. And it kind of felt like preseason all over again. You know, when we start the season, we're here in August and there's no one here but us. And to, to be successful enough to where we're playing on th in Thanksgiving week, and it, no one's here but us. Um, it really helps bring bring the family together, um, and kind of you know, I, it's Thanksgiving, so you you know you, everyone thinks about what they're thankful for, and I think it definitely kind of exposes how thankful we are for one another and for for our, you know to be to be around one another. We have a lot of great kids in our team. Um, they're good at football as well, but they're really good good people, and they're a pleasure to be around. Um, and so, you know, to, to play bonus football, to get a win last week on the road, to play at home in Thanksgiving week, and, uh, and get to spend time together off the practice field more than we do normally because, you know, they don't have class to go to, um, that was special. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud that we were able to get a win and, and earn one more week. Our goal was to be a December team. You know, in the first round of the playoffs, our goal was to spend Thanksgiving together. Th this week, our goal was to be a December team. You know, great teams, great programs play in the month of December. Um, and as I asked the team down in, the, in our team huddle right after the game, I asked them what the date was of our next game, and the date's December 2nd. So uh, mission accomplished, and we're, we're proud and, and glad to play in December, and uh, hopefully we can, we can play our best game of the year next week. Folks, thank you very much. Congrats, guys. Thank you.